Okay, I'm going to show you how to use Clonezilla on a local drive. So what we have here is a virtual machine, but this makes it possible for us to record the console. So I'm going to start this virtual machine, and it's going to boot off with a CD. We'll launch it here. Now the first thing we want to do that's very important is change it to boot uh, to RAM. And this lets us change then um, so that we can mount our images where we need to mount them. Okay, so I'm going to move VGA with large font and 2 RAM. Okay, we'll keep the default layout. Now, the following part we're only going to do once. So I'm going to enter the shell. This is a one time thing, only the first time we use a machine. I'm going to sudo to make myself an administrator or give myself the, the root privileges. Okay, and what I need to do here is uh, create a partition and a file system on uh, drive A. If I look at devices, SD star, I'll see that there is a device SDA. That's my first uh, hard drive on the system. In this case, the only one. But we need to partition that. So I'm going to F disk dev SDA. And there's a help command here. But uh, what we want to do is create a new partition. And uh, that is scrolled off the screen. We want to do new, N, and primary, a partition number one. And we'll make the whole disk this partition. So we just go ahead and hit Enter for the start, Enter for the end. And here it is, a 200 gigabyte uh, partition. Now we will write this and quit. And uh, now... Uh, we have that uh, partition. Now we can format that. What we can do is make a file system on it. So I'm, uh, but first of all, here's what the partition looks like. We did that same ls slash dev slash fd star. Now we see the hard drive, and then there's one partition. Now make a file system of a type XFS, which is a good, robust, reliable f file system. And I'm going to tell it to be on dev SDA1. OK, so now we have a, a, a file system on that. As I said, that's a one time thing. OK, now I'm going to show you what you do every time you boot the system up. We'll enter the shell, and we'll do a sudo slash I or slash uh, dash S here. And at this time, we want to mount uh, on home part image. OK. So what I want to do is tell it to mount to TXFS dev SDA1 onto home part image. All right, and let's take a look. Uh, we'll do a mount command, empty. And here it is. We have a read-writable partition at the very bottom here on home bar to me. Now we will quit. Go back to Clonezilla and start Clonezilla. And we will work with uh, disks or partitions using images. And we can tell it to use images off a secure shell server, Samba server, NFS server. But we're going to use this existing mount we just did. So we just enter that mount command. And we'll hit Enter. And now we are ready to go. Our partitions 
uh, that we back up from PhoneZilla, the file systems will go onto that local hard drive. I hope that helps.